welcome to my channel. Check out how windy it is out here. There goes my landing pad. We're going to use that in a bit. The reason I'm out here today on this sunny yet windy day is, well, two reasons. One is it is super warm. We are in the month of October in the country of Canada, and there are provinces in Canada and cities that have about a foot of snow right now. Yeah, if you could believe that. But uh, check this out. We got no snow. It's beautiful here where I live. All right, so I'm out here to fly a drone today. Probably not the best weather for flying it with the wind because it's pretty small. Let me show you it. This is the Crocodile Baby by Gep RC. It's rather small in size, and there's something about this here, well, drone, that makes it so freaking amazing. And that is that uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube and on forums reporting that they're getting 30 minutes flight time on a single battery with this drone. And the battery they're using is the one that uh, either comes with the drone or you buy separately. And let me show you what that battery is right now. This is the battery here. It's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And look at the size of it. This battery here is larger and it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. So this one here will not get you 30 minutes of flight time. It's rather large and heavy, but this one will. All right, the wind is just a blowing out here. So this camera is probably rocking all over the place. So I better get to this review pretty quick. So it's a digital camera system on here as well. It is long range. You see this here antenna that can go long range. So you can fly miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles away with this thing. It does have a beeper on it in case you lose it. And it does have a GPS rescue system in the back. All right, let's go fly this right now. Now you're going to see in the unboxing that this is entirely digital, digital camera, digital receiver, everything inside. Wind is blowing stuff over back there. And uh, anyways, because of that, I have to use my DJI FPV goggles because it's digital. And since the receiver, I didn't get an extra receiver with this, I'm just going to use my DJI FPV radio to fly this. Whoa, is that wind blowing? All right, this is going to be the very first flight with this drone. I've never flown it before other than in my house. I fly all the drones around my house, no matter how small or big they are. Uh, so I'm going to fly this outside and I've got a battery attached to it. I'm going to plug it in, connect it to my controller and just fly it around here. Film it with my little camera on the top of my hat and you'll see what it looks like. Then I'm going to take it for a full fledged flight out with my FPV goggles on and see how it performs. First things first, let's turn on the radio and then we will connect our drone to it. Connect the drone is pretty simple. We just attach a battery, which I've already done, and then just plug it in and it will connect automatically. And you'll see on my controller, it will go to green. Go to green. There we go. Got all the beeps happening. Now this crocodile baby has a beeper in it. Watch, I'll turn on the beeper. There we go. Plus it has an external beeper in case this here big battery dies. And the external beeper is right here on the bottom. Do you see it down there? Watch, I'll show you how it works. If I unplug the battery now as if this battery died, this beeper should go off. So here we go. You should see it. I'm going to unplug it. Let's see what happens. There we go. So now we have a beeper just in case this battery died and it was lost out in the woods or out in the field. This beeper will keep on going. And there it is right there. You can have a close up look of it. It's got a little LED light so you can find it too as it's going off. And this will keep going for a long time because it has its own external battery supply inside. And the way to turn this off is there's a little button on the back to press and it turns off. All right, it's pretty windy up here. All the leaves are blown off the trees pretty much. There's not much left on them. Uh, this one's pretty much all gone too. It is fall. So let's arm this and fly it. Here we go. Arm and uh, take it on up. And it blows with the wind, but I'll control it here to keep it nice and steady. There we are. So that's what it looks like when it flies. And uh, yeah, you can get 30 minutes of flight time out of this, which is pretty crazy with a digital camera. That is nuts. All right, let me bring it down and uh, we'll take it out with the FPV goggles. There we go. All right, check out the weather behind me. The sun has gone out. It's super, super cloudy, dull, overcast. So this is what the video is going to look like. Nothing great. And I've got my little quad down here ready to go. All right, you can see I have an Insta360 on the front to capture some video. Plus I have the camera as well. And I'll show you video from both. Oh, it's windy and dull. It's not very nice. All right, arm the motors and uh, let's go. There we go. It's so dark out here. Holy cow. Well, the GPS is working well. I see an arrow on the GPS saying, hey, home is right directly behind you. So that's pretty good. All right. So let's get over these trees. No problem there. Let's just bring it back to me. Now, I will say this drone 
this is about the fastest you can go with it. I'm going full speed right now. This is full speed. And you can see it's tilted in the wind. <laughs> this is hilarious. So yeah, this is basically full speed with this. Now this battery I have on it, just to tell you a little bit about the battery. This is a long range battery. It's made to fly, you know, about this speed and I can fly really, really far away, but it has no uh, whoop. It has no guts to it. I can go as fast as I want. It won't do anything because it has a really low C rating of 30 C. I don't fly FPV quads with 30 C. That means if I was coming up to a tree, like aiming at a tree and I wanted to like punch out so that I could miss the tree, this here battery will not give me the punch out power. It will literally just hit the tree. So I have to be careful. I have to aim properly when I'm flying through these trees or else I'm in big trouble. So if you want more power, then you have to put a different battery on. And I think I'll do that because this is the long range battery for 30 minutes of flight time. And as you can see here, yeah, this is what it looks like. And on my display, I'll show you right now, this is the Insta360 display and I'll switch it. And we're gonna switch over to the display coming out of the digital camera. So this is what it looks like with the digital camera. You can see the displays are a little bit different and then I'll switch back to the Insta360. It's a little bit smoother because the Insta360 with all this wind happening, it smooths everything out nicely. In my goggles, I can see the voltage and it pretty much shows me that I've got enough voltage to fly for another like 25 minutes or so. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. So just to show you the long range aspect, fly over here, I'm over another park. It's kind of hard to fly because of the wind. The wind is like really, really pushing this thing around. It just doesn't have the power with this massive wind. So it's uh, going. Now I'm at the end, other end of the park. I'm gonna head over to farmer's fields if I keep on going. All right, now I'm gonna try the GPS rescue. I have the switch right here. Here we go, GPS rescue. Three, two, one, click, and there it is. It's working. I just turned on the GPS rescue and it's bringing the drone back. I wanted to try it out, so there we go. I am doing nothing. You can see on the screen, it is flying back to me. I have no, no controls anywhere, so it's just coming back. It's really well made. So I have no worries with this one that it's gonna fall out of the sky, thank God, because there's cars underneath, but uh, here it is coming back to me. So the GPS rescue, A-OK -okay on this baby. So here we go, I'll take the GPS rescue off because it's coming over me and I should have control over it right now. There we go. I can tip the nose down, fly over me. You can hear it buzz. There we are. I'm going to bring it back and I'm just going to switch the batteries because I am not a person that flies long range, so I would not use this battery. This battery here is just too, too lanky for me. So here, let me just bring it over here, come down over to my truck. Whoa, I got to be careful because it's not really designed to go. There we go. So that's the battery I was flying with and it is designed for long range, but you can look, you see the little 30C right here? It says right there, 30C. I fly batteries that usually have from 70 to 120C and that's what FPV drones require if you wanna go really fast. When you fly with a 30C battery, it's like flying with a camera drone, you know, like a DJI drone or an Autel drone. Those batteries are very, very low C ratings. All right, so I've taken this battery off because it's only 30C and I put an 80C battery on, which is down here on the quad and I've taken off the Insta360 so I'm gonna film right now just using this camera that comes with this drone and show you I'm gonna see how fast I can fly and do some flips and rolls with this battery here we go so this time we're just recording with the camera on the drone itself so make sure I'm in acro mode power on oh she wants to go now here we go there we go much better now it's not a slow flying drone now I've got some oomph and some power so I can go down low in the trees here Shoom. Just miss them like that, a little bit better. Yeah, here we go. This is the way it should be. So you can get your long range, you can come around. Ooh, not too good for the light to go that way. Head over this way. And if you wanna do rolls, whoosh, nice slow ones. Going over into this lot. Go by the cell phone towers, right over here. I'm going right against the wind right now, and this is pretty hard. I can still see my nice little GPS uh, signals telling me that home is back to where I am, right over here. You can hear it screaming by. Here, I'll bring it down lower. There, it's coming over me. It's kind of hard to show you full speed in the wind because no matter which direction I go, I'm getting a breeze. There I am. 
Whoa, I hit that tree branch. That's what happens when there's no leaves. I can't see the leaves. The tree branches are just gray with the sky, but uh, much faster. Check that out. All right, so that's all I wanted to check out is just to make sure this thing had some power, some oomph. If you put a battery on that's got like 80 C or above, most FPV batteries are like 70 to 75 C. I usually try to buy the ones that are like 120 C, but this little one I have is only 80 C. So, but at least with this little one, you can do all the good stuff. So if you're coming down low and you have to punch up, there you go. Look at this, way up in the sky, way up, no problem. And there I am, way down there, that little dot down there. Dive back down and let's bring it up. Beautiful. All right, let's bring it back to me and I'll give you my final thoughts on this baby. All right, I'm right there coming up to my feet and Blink. All right, I plugged the drone. Let's bring it back. You could hear it's already beeping because I unplugged it. So I'm going to turn off the beeper. Hang on a sec, guys. I'll be with you in a second. There we go. Beeper should be off. There we go. Final thoughts on the crocodile, baby. If you're somebody who likes to fly far, like I mean miles and miles and miles of distance, then you probably want the crocodile, baby. And you probably want this here battery, this 3000 milliamp hour battery, because this is the one designed to get you like almost 30 minutes of flight time. You can go bigger and get longer flight time if you want. Some people have. And if you want to do flips and rolls and have lots of power, just put a battery on that has a C rating of, you know, like 80 C or higher. This battery I have on it right now is an 850 milliamp hour battery. You can go higher if you want. There's lots of room on board here. You can see lots of room between here and the front to fit a larger battery. So you can go up to a thousand, uh, yeah, 1000 milliamp hour if you wanted to. All right, so what I'm gonna do, oh, now the sun comes out. Oh, always my luck, look at the sun's out, lighting me up, flying around in the darkness and the sun's out now. Way to go, sun. All right, so I'm gonna put links below for this here, baby. If you have questions on this quad, just post them below and I'll get back to you. And uh, if you enjoyed this review, with or without the sun, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it very much. Up next is an unboxing. So check out what comes in the box. I don't think this is very expensive. I know you can get it in the digital format. I think you can get it analog. If you can, I will post below the analog version because it'll be less expensive than the digital version. But as I said, this drone is only designed for those people who want to fly miles and miles away. I don't know if you're doing land survey or you want to go spy on your neighbors or your brother or your sister that live miles and miles away. That's what this is for. So for now, I'll say thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the unboxing. Bye guys. All right, before I get to the unboxing, I know a lot of you are probably already asking or might even post it in the comments below, should I get this drone or should I get the Flywoo Explorer? Because they are quite similar. So here's the Explorer and here's the Gep RC Crocodile Baby. And you can see they're pretty much the same size. And check this out, check out the motors. I don't know if I have that focus, but you can see the Crocodile Baby and the Long Range Flywoo Explorer have exactly the same type of motors. You know, pretty much manufactured differently, but they are pretty much the same for performance. They both have the finder beeper on the back, which is really good. They both have the GPS rescue on the rear, which is really good. They both have the long range antennas. Look at that, it's super long range antennas, perfect. They both have digital cameras in the front. And for the most part, they're using pretty much a lot of the same components, except for the flight controller would be slightly different. Now you can see the big difference is basically in how much carbon fiber they use. This one here could probably handle a crash really well. This one's much thinner to keep the weight down. So talking about weight, well, let's weigh them. So here's the Flywoo, which has the thin carbon fiber, and we're at what, 160 grams. And uh, let's put the Crocodile Baby by Gep RC, and what are we at? 164 grams, so four grams difference. That's the only difference. And uh, yeah, a little bit more thicker carbon fiber on this one than on this one. All right, back to the unboxing. And now it's time to show you what comes in the box for the Gep RC Crocodile Baby Long Range. Here we go, open it up, and there we have it. When you receive this drone, the props are not on, neither are the straps, and neither is the antenna. But it's too easy to put on. You just snap in the antenna, screw on the props, and uh, put your little straps here for your batteries. This drone is called the Crocodile Baby, and it does have four inch gem fan props, which makes it pretty sweet, especially since the motors are 2750 kV. Runs on a 4S battery, and if you put the proper 4S battery in here, you can get 28 minutes of flight time. 
This is the recommended battery required to get you the 28 minutes of flight time because it is a 3000 milliamp hour battery that's in about the size of a 4S battery that you'd normally buy. So really, really good. Now I have to tell you, the one I'm holding in my hand is the top of the line model because it has a digital camera system. So you pay a premium for that. But if you're on a budget and you only have like under $200 to spend, you can get a model that is under $200. It's totally analog and it will still be long range and fly for 28 minutes. Squished away down at the bottom there is an F4 AIO flight controller. It's at 20 amps. Mine only has this here Cadex Vista receiver system. I did not get a receiver with mine, but you can put any receiver you want. So if you want to put Crossfire, FR Sky, Fly Sky, you can put those receivers on this when you order it. And just to show you how cool this drone is, look at that. Everything's on it except for the battery. And watch this. I'll put it down and let's see what the weight is. 162 grams. That's a way under 250 grams. Now you can put any 4S battery on here that you desire. So if you want to put a little 4S battery on it, so you keep the weight under 250 grams, you can. So let's put this little one on there and we're at 220 grams. There you go, 220 gram drone that's long range. Of course, this little battery is only going to get you, I don't know, five minutes or six minutes of flight time. But if you want 28 minutes, see how big this other one is? That's all it is. It's just a larger size battery with more power stored inside. This will get you 28 minutes and let's see what that weighs. Put these two together. Ooh, now you're up to 364 grams. Now, besides the whole digital system, which makes it pretty cool and the lightweight and the powerful motors and that it's a 4S, it also has GPS on the back. So that's GPS rescue. So if I'm flying it really far, like, I don't know, maybe two miles away, and all of a sudden I lose the video transmission because I go behind a tree, well, I'm blinded. So on my radio, I have to hit the GPS rescue. This will rise up in the air really, really high and then start flying back to me. And then when I get my video signal back, I just take over the flight. And if you should happen to lose this drone in the bushes or the woods or someplace and you can't find it, it does have a location beeper back here. What that means is that the battery on top supplies the power to the location beeper. So when this big battery on top runs out of power because it's on the ground and you know it's going to run out of power eventually, this little battery takes over and it has a lot of power in it and it just keeps running this beeper that keeps beeping this annoying sound and allows you to find this drone. All right, so let me show you the other goodies in the box. Here's the pile of extras included in the box, stuff I have not used. So I have the instructions for my digital camera. I have a GetBRC support, where to get support. I have a GetBRC here. Uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. I have GetBRC stickers. And then down here, oh, I have to show you that in a bit, hang on. I also get four spare props just in case I damage mine. Remember that little location beeper I was speaking of? That's it right here. So they give you an extra one. I'm not really sure why, but you you get an extra one. You also get two extra battery straps for the analog version. If you want to run your wires through tubes to protect them, you get that as well. You get extra forward arms and rear arms just in case you break your arms on your drone and you get the screws to attach them. You get this little Allen key to put the props on and take them off. You get a rubber pad so that you can put your batteries on. I have to stick this on. I haven't put that on yet. And if you get the crossfire system, I believe this goes in the rear to run your crossfire antennas through each side. And also they included this in my package, but I don't think everybody gets this, but this is called a GetRC smoke stopper. You can see it here on my phone. And I might as well show it to you now because in case I forget to show it to you in another video, this is pretty sweet. So you can order this on the GetRC website. And what it is, is you plug a battery in here and here, or this size and this size, and then into your drone. In the olden days, we used to plug, where's my drone? In the olden days, we would plug a battery into our drone after we did some wiring. And if you did something wrong, you would plug the battery in and you'd blow the whole ESC and you'd have smoke coming from this thing. It would blow it up. So this is the smoke stopper. So in other words, you would plug this end in here and in the other end, you plug your battery in. And if there's any short circuit in here, and this unit will stop your battery power from going in and blowing up your ESCs and ruining your day. So if you're somebody who works on quads, FPV quads or something like that, you might want to get yourself the smoke stopper. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review of the GetRC Crocodile Baby. I think this is pretty darn sweet. Now, it is a long range drone. And the one I showed you right here is the most expensive because it's all digital, but you can get models less than this that will do the same thing. They are just not digital. So I'm going to list them all below this video, but make sure you pick yourself up one of these batteries. I'll list this as well. If you have questions on this drone, post them below and I will get back to you. Just remember that I'm listing below this video, this drone, where you can find it, the price, and every other drone that's in the same category, along with this one on the GetRC site, plus the battery. And finally, 
if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future review. I have no idea why I lifted that battery. I'll catch you in a future review with many more drone reviews. Take care. Catch you then.